my God, John, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, congratulations on the shirt. And just, yeah, eyes up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eyes up here, It's Seth. very hard. Yeah, I know. These, yeah. these are my nipples, not my eyes. Yeah, okay, got okay. you. Just keep it up here. You guys saw that, right? He keeps looking. <laughs> and in this climate, it's just... It's... Wow. You know? Yeah. I'm sorry, I will do my best. Is Thank this you. a shirt, when you see this shirt right away, are you like, uh, I have to have it? Well, I actually stole this from the wardrobe of Search Party. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is and your stole, wonderful I mean, show. Yeah. yeah, yeah, thank you. We don't have to talk about it. But, um, <laughs> no, I, I just asked the wardrobe department if I could borrow it for the show. So, th thank you, Matthew. <laughs> um, we, I'm, I'm trying to get the timeline right. Uh, yes. uh, we, did we meet at Amy Schumer's wedding? Was that the first time? That was before you were on the show. We did. Yes. We met at Amy Schumer's wedding. And uh, uh, I was a fan of yours. Uh, but I did Shut not see you. Up. I was. Because you married uh, Amy Schumer uh, yes. and her husband, Chris Fisher, who I've known, who I actually uh, knew before I knew even... Knew before uh, I didn't yeah. know that. And, Let's uh, get to it. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. But you, uh, you married them. I officiated their wedding. Yes. Yes. And, uh, and you did it in character. Yes. Uh, so how did... You did it as a character of yours uh, uh, named Vicky. Vicky with a V. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How did this come about? Um, I got a text from Amy, who I barely knew at that point. I want to be yeah. clear. Like, less than a week before her wedding, I got a text from her that said, will you officiate my wedding? Adele backed out. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you, right, in, you know, in the audience and at home who are thinking, who is he? Who even is he? You know, you're not wrong, okay? <laughs> It's like Adele, and then we're, you know. <laughs> Don't uh, worry, Adele lost... backed out. We got a backup, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we have very different kind of career milestones. Yeah. Um, yeah, but she, she asked me, which I thought was kind of very punk and kind of like, you know, she, was, she at that point was a fan of the characters which Vicky was on. Yes, this is the Netflix, Netflix show, uh, the characters. Yeah, the second episode, please watch. <laughs> um, and uh, no one's seen it. And... Um, <laughs> She was always kind of championing that show and very, very kind of evangelical about it, very sweet to me about it. And that's kind of all that I even... That was the depth of our rela entire relationship. You and know? you... And she asked you to write it. She, well, she asked me first to do it as myself. Okay. Which I was like... Ah, you know, because it was yeah. like... Because that suggests a level of intimacy with yes. the couple that I, like, frankly did not have. Yeah. You know? And so I was horrified, and then, the, but I said yes because I was like, I can't say no, you know, right? Because you know, we bow down to Amy. You know? Yes, of course. And uh, and then the next morning, I she texted me. She read my mind. She was like, Will you do it as Vicky? And I was like, That's genius because I feel like with Vicky, who's kind of a Southern Christian mom, you know, she's a she's a road comic. Yeah. <laughs> She she's likes, like a populist comic. Likes denim. She loves denim. Yeah. Um, she's always looking for her denim. Is her catchphrase. You know, <laughs> don't cross my Christian ass when I'm what looking for my denim. You know. <laughs> um, it, ma it literally makes no sense. I was so high when I wrote it. And um, <laughs> but but so yes, yeah, she asked me to ask Vicky, which I was like, this is perfect because I feel like I can strike the right balance of like funny, but also. Sincerity, because, you know, I don't, I'm sure you agree with me. It's like, I feel like it's easier to tell the truth when you're wearing a wig. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, and, you know? But there was something, also, there was very little um, explanation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it should be yeah. there, like, I'm, uh, I was familiar with you, I was familiar with Vicky. Somehow. I think I was in the... Very sweet of you. I was and... in the minority of people at the <laughs> yes, wedding. Yes, yes. Uh, it was like, well, this is, the night before I was so so scared. I was just so overwhelmed by the pressure of officiating a wedding, you know, and Amy Schumer's wedding. And, uh, and, I, but, and I was like, well, I need to know who's on the guest list so I can, like, you know, maybe roast them a little bit, or, you know. <laughs> and I asked, I made the mistake of asking the wedding planner who was there, and it was like, Jake Gyllenhaal, Jennifer Lawrence, La Larry David, Lauren Hutton. Like, I was like, ah, you know. <laughs> My second scream, by the way. <laughs> scream count, hashtag scream count. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, so, but, but I was, I was like, none of these people, not only are they are, they're not going to know who this woman is, Vicky, yeah. like, they're certainly got, not going to then somehow determine from under the makeup that it's me, and, and even if they, even if I looked like myself, they'd still be like, who? You know, so, <laughs> it was like many layers of terror, and like, when I was up there, there was a lot of like, <laughs> And I think also, like, the point of Vicky is that she is in kind of a gorgeous lace front wig. It's very realistic drag. It's yeah. Like, 
beautiful hyper real makeup. You know, it's not like I did pass. Yeah. You know what it I mean? It wasn't, you didn't immediately think, oh, this is a male comedian in right. a wig. This is a drag queen. This yeah. is, uh, this is this Vicky, is Vicky with, a with a V. Yeah. Um, uh, proof is in the pudding. We actually have a, a clip of the wedding. Yes, and listen to what I first said. Yeah, this is, and by the way, again, we do not know each other at the time. Yes, yes. And I, this made me cackle out loud. Thank God. Uh, let's take a look. Dearly beloved and Seth Myers, <laughs> we are gathered here today for what I've just been told is a Jewish wedding. <laughs> Amy, I'm so proud of you. You look just like a little virgin. <laughs> and Chris, my God. What do I have to do to have Uno Noche with you, honey? <laughs> you can throw some Mrs. Dash on me and saute me in a pan until I'm golden brown. <laughs> Amy, I'm, so, I'm way out of line. I'm so sorry. Now, what I like about Chris and Amy's love is that it is an evolved love. It's two great grown-ups who are simply ready to hold on to each other real tight as our great nation burns to the ground. <laughs> Bravo. Thank you. Bravo. Thank you. And I truly, when the wedding planner told me that you were in the audience, I was like, I felt so safe. Oh, that's very nice even to though, hear. Even though we didn't know each other, I, I did feel this connection that, of course, has become yes, iconic, it... arguably. <laughs>